Hello world. It is I. Through the struggle and the pain, I hear your cries, I feel your sorrows. Do not fear thy one who they speaketh of, because who they speaketh of is you. This voice that you're hearing is not me, but you. Speaking to yourself from another dimension, another reality, another way of life, another timeline. Telling yourself to wake up. You are in a prison system. Earth is a prison system created by Luciferian deities to manipulate and monopolize the humanization of mankind. This is done by two families which I think you know who they are. If you're not, research my page and the internet you will find out very quickly who is reading this world and controlling your minds. Because most of you are asleep. You cannot hear me. I'm speaking above you, not through you or with you. You need to understand that you have been oppressed and manipulated and led to be hypnotized. Hypnotized as slaves to be part of this beast system. In a world full of totality and infinite, people lack and people fear that there is not enough. There is an infinite, infinite, infinite being created infinitely at infinite times. There's infinite times being infinitely created infinite times. And you don't have enough. The world will not give you enough. The world will not give you what you desire. The world will not give you what you want. Maybe because you don't understand what you want. Maybe you're too scared to go out and get it. Maybe you don't understand that it takes brains to really get what you want more. It doesn't take hard work. If it took hard work, railroad men would be rich as fuck. Not the people who own the railroad, but the people who work on the railroad. Those men did not become rich. Those men did not have their chance because they were misled by their fathers and they were led by their fathers who has all been deceived and manipulated by the same family for the two same two families for thousands of years. It is a time that our oppressors become the oppressed and our oppressors become the ones who are enslaved in prison and left to be fed to the wolves. The abyss will swallow them whole like it swallows your minds and you cannot Wake up, wake up, wake up. You do not understand. Wake up. This is not real. This is not really happening. You are just experiencing this physical body as a ride, like a roller coaster. You jumped in this body to test it out. And then once you're done with your mission, then you go on to the next mission in another soul system in another body system, in another planetary system, in another star system, in another galaxy, in another universe, in another multiverse, in another millenniverse. This is the future past present of all. And you have the power of a god because you are a god. Not that you need to bow down to your god, but you are just as powerful as the God that you are praying to. You are just as powerful as the God that's created this world. Because the God that's created this world was you. You are everything. You are the universe. 
You are the multiverse. You are the universe. You are not of this realm, of this dimension, of this star system, of this planetary system, of this all. You have manifested yourself through creation and manifestations to temporarily experience something that you've never experienced before. And that's pain and love. Because with love comes pain. With love, things end. With love, Adam and Eve fell. When we all feel their pain and the repercussions of their actions, we do not really understand what was going on. Adam and Eve were giving each other, and that is all they really desired. And their love was so powerful that it became evil. Because the duality of the male and the female like nature created a whole new ballgame. So in this world, we don't have just good and positive. We have negative and bad. We have evil and righteous. We have the duality of polarity. The, du the dual polarity of infinity. Because in infinity, you get infinite results. Like this moment, it has happened infinite times and will happen infinite more times for infinite millennia.